is reasonable. <laughs> Paul Chicago yeah. Sports. Hey, try my best. I'm reasonable. I'll go with the swamp cooler, man. All right, thanks a lot, my friends. Don't look now, but Coach Kevin Sumlin and the Arizona Wildcats are in first place all alone in the Pac-12 South. So no surprise that this week's Mondays with Sumlin gathering the uh, Arizona football coach was all smiles as Arizona gears up for Washington at home this Saturday. Let's reflect on the Wildcats' last outing. Apart from the defense coming up big down the stretch, got to give props to quarterback Khalil Tate. He had a record-setting day on the ground in Colorado two years ago, and this time around, Tate would throw for a career-high 404 yards in the 35-30 win. But those statistics wouldn't be possible without a strong offensive line. Right, Coach Sumlin? You know, coming into the last year, last season, that was probably the biggest question mark on this team, right? It started last year, basically, because you had a true freshman, you had a walk-on center, you had uh, guys that really hadn't played much. And, and I would say that they're a veteran group. Meanwhile, it's Pac-12 Media Day for women's basketball, and the Arizona Wildcats took center stage, at least in our minds here in Southern Arizona. In the preseason media poll, Coach Adia Barnes and her Wildcats chimed in as number six. Wildcats have all their starters returning this season from a squad that swept through the WNIT and route to a sellout, Miguel Center, that saw the Arizona's crown as champs. Here's Ari McDonald and TT Sparks in San Francisco at the Pac-12 Studios today. This is fun. We had fun. Everybody had fun doing it. You know, um, it was a great experience, but, you know, we got some big stuff to accomplish. Yeah. We were happy for the NIT, but we were not satisfied. Like, the returners are coming back much hungrier, and the, cha the championship, the NCAA, that's where we're going for this year. Hey, Coach Adia Barnes and the Cats open the exhibition season on October 27th against Eastern New Mexico. Hey, we're far from over with. After the break, more sports, including the Major League Baseball playoffs. Will Tucson native and former Saguaro High School standout Alex Verdugo come back from injury with enough time to get on the Dodgers roster again? More sports, more energy, more fun after the break.